One of the many great things about 3D Cutout is that you can use it to work on multiple projects at the same time. Each project has its own files and configurations. If you click on Set Project, you see that a test project is created by default. This project is empty and intended for trying out some of the features of 3D Cutout such as rigging, animating and rendering. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create and configure your own project. The first thing we need to do is creating a workgroup which is accessible for all computers. Then we add new projects to that workgroup. Just click on Preferences button and then on Workgroup Management. Now click on Create Workgroup. Go to the Network Shared folder and create a workgroup there. If you have been created a workgroup before, there is no need to create a new one and you can just reconnect to the existing one. Once the workgroup is created, we need to add a new project to it. Click on Preference button and then click on Project Management. As you might have expected, this is where you can configure project settings. Now click on Create Project and choose which folder you want to save the project to. To make a project accessible to all users, you have to save the file in the Shared Network folder. I'm going to save this project under the file name My Project. Now we just click Save to create the new project. If you click on Set Project again, you can see My Project has been added to the project list. You can set the project thumbnail from the project management. Although you can use an image of any dimension as a thumbnail, 320 by 180 pixels works best. Project color changes the main user interface color. If you change the color to blue, and that project to my project, you see the main user interface color changes to blue. This is very useful when switching between multiple projects. If you have created a project in another workgroup before and you would like to include it in this workgroup, click on Find Project and select the project to add it. In this example, we connect to the sample project that we have especially created for 3D Cutout. Now, change Sample Project color to orange, set Project again, click on its thumbnail to change working project to sample project. The sample project contains some example content like characters, environments and objects. It also consists of some animations, which demonstrates how content is created for 3D Cutout. Without creating an episode, we cannot save any plan in the project. So the next step is to create some episodes for my project. With my project selected, enter the first episode name. We give it the name Episode 1. Click on New Episode. I'm going to add Episode 2 and finally Episode 3 as well. With this done, you can start to save plans in the project. Now switch to My Project. Open Save Plan. You can see there are three episodes we just created in the episode list. Click Save to create first plan of the project. Now you just have to go back to the project management. I'm going to set the frame rate on episode 1. Before doing this, if you take a look at the configuration dialog, you see that the frame rate for this plan is 30. Change episode 1 frame rate to 16. Now save the scene in episode 1. Open the time configuration dialog again. And now you see that frame rate is changed to 16. Now let's take a look at how render settings work. We can quickly create an object by using the object generator. If you haven't created a PSL file yet, you can just load an image. Save it in the Asset Browser and then load it into the scene.
make a quick test animation. Create camera. And then save this plan in episode 2. Go back to the project management window and change preview output width and height to 100. Click on the preview button and then preview the animation. It takes some time to complete the preview. You see preview size is 100 times 100. By pressing the function button F10, the render setting dialog will open and there you can see that the output size for this file will be an HD quality of 1920 by 1080. In general, Render settings for each episode are stored in the project management. In addition, if you want to change some settings which are not included in the project management window, such as motion blur, you can use a render preset. Let me quickly show you how this works. Just open Assign Renderer Rollout. Change Active Renderer to Mental Way. Activate motion blur and increase shutter duration a little bit. Now just save the preset file with any name you want. You can change back to default preset if you want. Then go back to the project management window and assign this render preset for preview. This preset overrides all render settings except output size. For better viewing motion blur, increase preview size a little bit, around 300 times 300. Now, if you generate preview again, you can see renderer is mental way. And now motion blur has been applied to the renderer image. Now just open project management again. To change back render settings to the default, click on Clear button. By default renderer and preview outputs goes to the project folder. However, you can point output paths to anywhere you want. Now, before we finish this tutorial, I want to show you one last useful feature, and that is the save lock. Save lock locks the selected episode. This way, you won't be able to save any new plan within this episode. And this prohibits other users from saving changes which might override final works. This is useful when you've finished working on an episode and you want to prevent accidental loss of data. Thanks for watching this project management tutorial.